Hey guys, welcome back. So land investing is one of the easiest, fastest ways to get started in real estate. In this episode, I'm gonna be talking about land investing for beginners. All right, so first I'm gonna be walking you through the steps that it takes to get started as a land investor. Then I'm gonna show you about picking your playground and then picking a list of landowners dying to hear from you to sell you their property at a discount. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, so the steps to get started as a land investor is first, I want you to know why you're doing this. What are you running from or away from or what are you running to? So in my life, things that have motivated me was running away from pain. And my pain when I became a land investor was I was working a tremendous amount of hours. I had just gotten off of a couple deployments. Uh, my first wife and I, we ended up separating because I was always gone in the military, always away, always training, always deployed, always in the field, always away except for home where I needed to be. So that didn't allow me to have a very successful family life. Well, fast forward many years, uh, I was accomplishing and crushing all my goals in the military, but I was not home. So I ended up losing one of the most valuable things, which was my first marriage. Well, fast forward a couple years, I met an amazing woman, we're now married, we now have three children together, and I noticed history was repeating itself. I was always away, always gone, always training, always prepping for that next deployment. And it hit me, you know, when my first son was born, is I need to be home more often. Like I cannot let history repeat itself again. I can't lose another marriage and now I've got three children, or what, at this time it was only one, but it eventually turned into three, but I, now I have one child to think about too. And pretty much I, I looked back, by the time my son was a year and a half old, I had only been with him about two months of his life. So I was running away from a problem, not towards pleasure. There's two types of motivation I believe for most humans is, one, running away from uh, something, or two, running towards pleasure. So away from pain or towards pleasure. I'm an away from pain type of person for motivation. So I wanted to build a financial wall around me and my family that nothing would ever get through. So I'm just, I stand here humbled today, blessed, just showing you what I've accomplished as a land investor, and I'm gonna share that with you right now. So that's what you need, the steps, the first steps, as promised, to become a land investor. Next, I'm gonna give you now the actual like technical stuff. You now need to pick your playground. That's pick your area, pick your location, pick your county, and I love to start in my own backyard. There's a great book called, well, I'm not gonna tell you what the book's called. It was about a man that uh, wanted to strike it rich. So he ended up selling his beautiful farm and moving across the world to a foreign country where he knew no one. Well, that man that he sold his farm to was out one day, you know, getting a bucket of water, a pail of water. This was before running water times. And he noticed some glimmer in the water, some shining glitter. And he went down and picked it up and brought that, that little piece of shining object to the local jeweler in town. And that jeweler said, this is a very rare form of diamond. Do you have more? So the man said, yeah, there's plenty of it in my uh, creek. So he went down and just scooped it all out and he brought it back to this jeweler and there was literally acres and acres of diamonds in this stream. So this man that sold the farm was running towards pleasure, had to move across the world to strike it rich when he already had the riches in his own backyard and he sold it. You were already somewhere and there's probably land somewhere around you. So that's step number one. Step number one, picking your playground. And I love it to be in my own backyard. In your backyard could be a two hour radius. My first piece of land was about an hour and a half from myself, from, from where me and my wife and my newborn was living at the time. So that's step one, pick your playground. Step two, I want you to get a list of landowners that are just begging to hear from you, that they probably need to sell. There's absolute extreme motivation for them to sell. They might have inherited the land. They might have uh, gotten the land passed down to them. They might have bought the land 20 years ago, but there's one motivator that I like to see, especially when buying land, especially when just starting out as a land investing beginner, and that is behind on the taxes. They are tax delinquent, or they basically, they haven't paid their taxes for the last several years. How do you find this list? Well, some counties call it the county treasurer. 
Some counties call it the tax collector. And you want to know what type of state you're in. Are you in a tax deed state or a tax lien state? And some states are so confusing, they're both. But I'm not really that worried about it. I want to just find people that are behind on their taxes and I want to send them a beautiful letter, and that's step three, send them a letter saying, hey, would you be interested in selling the land at 123 Main Street or the land on you know, Main Street? And here's the thing, step one, pick your playground, that's your area. Step two is find that list of motivated land sellers and step three is send a letter saying, hey, my name is Brent or my name is John, whatever your name is, I'd be interested in purchasing the land at 123 Main Street. If you consider an offer or you consider an all cash fair closing, call me or text me and put your phone number. And here's one little quick tip. Don't put your return mailing address to where you, where you currently live. You know, use a PO box or a UPS box or a virtual mailbox. I don't care which one you use. They're all great. Just go with the cheaper option, the lesser expensive option, or maybe you have an office already, but you don't want people just showing up to your house unexpected, especially if your spouse and children live there. So that's step three, send them a letter. Step four is you need to take those phone calls. You need to return those phone calls and communicate with this seller that wants to sell his or her land. Now, step five, you need to see what the land is worth. Call a realtor. Here's how you do it. You call a realtor or you look on Zillow and you look at apple to apple comparison. You want to see what the half acre lots are selling for in that zip code, that area within a couple mile radius. So why do I say a half acre lot? I'm saying apples to apples comparison. Maybe you're talking to a seller that has a five acre parcel of land and 80906 zip code. Well, then you need to be looking at five acre parcels of land in the 80906 zip code and what they've sold for in the last six months. So apple to apple comparison. You can't compare a half acre lot to a five acre lot in a different zip code. That's like apples to oranges. So you want to know what you're actually looking at, what, what your seller actually has to sell, and you want to know exactly what it's worth. That's step five. Step number six, once you get that property under contract, you've got to get that property under contract. That's step number six. That's getting that property under a purchase agreement. I'm going to give you my contract that I use right now for free. I just ask that you run it by a real estate attorney and make sure it works in your state. But you can head on over to thelandsharks.com forward slash contract, thelandsharks.com forward slash contract. I will give you the purchase agreement that I use to purchase hundreds and hundreds of properties with. That is step number six, getting that thing under contract at a discount. It has to be at a discount. That's the only way this will work. And step number seven is advertise that property on Craigslist. Advertise that, that purchase agreement via land signs, just putting the land signs in the ground all over, stop signs, red lights, and I want you to say whatever the property is, you know, one acre, must sell, phone number one acre must sell phone number put that thing at red lights stop signs all around the property because here's the thing that purchase agreement that i just offered you that is going to allow you to assign that contract that purchase agreement also allows you to market that contract and you don't even have to buy it to sell that contract to a buyer and all you're going to do is you're going to sign that contract to a buyer for just a little bit more than what you have it under contract for let's just say you got that property under contract for five thousand dollars and you find a buyer that wants to pay you $6,000 for it, well, you just made the difference between five and $6,000. That's an extra $1,000 in your pocket right now, and that is how land investing for beginners works. Hey guys, smash that like button. I hope you're getting tons of value out of this, and also, if you wanna give me a little extra love, hit that subscribe button too. Let's keep going. So what has all this turned into? I shared with you the pain that I was having back in 2018 when I finally got out of the military. I now can confidently say that I have done over 400 land deals that has changed my, my life, my financial future. It's given me time freedom because now we have over 100 parcels of land paying us every single month. It's given me geography freedom because I can do this from anywhere in the world. We now live where we wanna live. We live close to my family. We travel when we wanna travel. And then most of all, it's given me, you know, life freedom. It's given me the opportunity to do what I want to do. It's given me the opportunity to come here and film today and shoot this video or to go on vacation. And I don't say this to boast. It's just allowed me the opportunity to make decisions 
that's right for me and my family. So it's amazing just looking back just a couple years ago when I was to a brand new land investor, what I've been able to accomplish. So if you're interested in having me hold your hand through this entire process, I want you to head on over to thelandsharks.com. I'm gonna ask you to fill out a form and schedule a call. And if we like what you have to say, we might even invite you into the tribe to become a rhino.